Hello everyone, this is Randy here again. Another episode of Farm and Simulator 2013. And we are playing on the failed Kirken map. Got our boys here, uh... Cultivating and plowing. I just about have this field done. Not sure what's up with this here, but, uh, anyway. Yeah, you can't blame me for this, because that's a hired worker, so... Not sure what he's missing stuff for. Anyway. This episode, hopefully we are going to get our automated silage, uh, selling thingamajiggy working here. I've got, uh, so it's six conveyor belts, two bobcats. Accidentally bought two, uh, Ford front-end loaders. I only need one. <laughs> and I got a bucket for the, uh, Ford. Oh, yeah. A bucket for the Ford. I was surprised this actually worked. <laughs> This is the, uh, I'll show you guys a minute. I got the, yeah, 50,000 one. And this is actually for the Cat 966 front loader. This uh, may work with another bucket too, but I just happened to test it with this one, so it's like, ah, uh, seeing how it worked with this one, I'm gonna stay with this one. I know it looks a little derpy, but, uh, Okay, we're going to drive right into it there. And... I think that's how I had it. We'll find out. And I may actually end up having to buy a third Bobcat here. Ended up having to buy... Uh, borrow... What are we up to? I think I had to borrow like 70000 to buy all this equipment, so... Don't have much of a loan left anymore. Now, the theory is here, you guys can probably guess what's going to happen. The uh, conveyor belt will actually load into the bucket. And since the bucket is in the dump position, it will proceed to dump it. And we get close enough here. Might have to come around the other side. I lift it up, that might get it close enough. We'll find out here. It should be dumping in there, I thought. Yeah, it'd be nice if I had a tractor that had a little bit higher uh, front end loader part on it. May have to uh, do. Oh, I don't want him. May have to do that eventually. At the moment, it's really the biggest uh, front and loader tractor I could afford. Get it? A Ford? That's a Ford. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, back to the bad jokes again. Oh, there it goes. That's what I was looking for. Okay. And because that one's kind of stuck there, I can't really get that bobcat out. I'm just going to leave it there. And that's why I bought the second bobcat for. Now, if I do this right, I should only need five of these conveyor belts. somewhat level here. I want them sitting as close to the flat on the ground as I can. So when I detach it, they'll more or less stay in spot. Now, turn it just a little bit because I'm going to go on the, uh, be the right side of that conveyor belt that's sitting in the middle there. To get to the point where it, uh, unloads, detach it. Oop. Turn it around. Not quite that far. This thing is a little bit fun to drive because it really, especially when you're going slow anyway, it turns quick. I 
And you want to keep an eye on it, make sure it's all working, that one of the conveyor belts, you know, doesn't all of a sudden start building stuff up, because it should all be dumping into that bucket. And I don't know if you guys have seen it or not, I did uh, post an image online of this all working, so... I tried it all off screen, had it all set up. Then, yeah, I didn't bother saving the game because I wanted to set it up again and re actually record me setting it up. So, hopefully, you guys can see it and see exactly what I'm attempting to do here. So far, it appears I can uh, unload this bunker from one spot. Um, I unloaded like uh, 100. No, what did I get? I think I got $160,000. I didn't check how much silage that was, but. Uh, yeah, I unloaded like $160,000 worth of silage. And um, I mean, a matter of minutes. Okay, one more conveyor belt, and we should have it. The unload spot, it's kind of that, right around that dirty spot there I found was like the sweet spot for unloading, so. I noticed if I had it in the middle, it did eventually run out, so... Kind of get the uh, bobcat parked on that dirty spot there. And get ready, folks. You should see silage start pouring in here. There we go. So we just uh, follow the silage. And you'll notice the money's not going up. So you're like, uh, I seen that first, like, oh crap, it's not working. It actually is working. If we get in the Ford here, you'll see it's actually selling. So, shit, switch that around there. And I'm not sure how much this holds. Um, I did max it out, and eventually the bucket will fill up, and you know everything will kind of stop. So, yeah, we got rid of 50,000 silage already. So, and hey, if it does eventually, uh, the spot doesn't work anymore. I've always got you know one more conveyor belt. I'll just lengthen it up a little more. Ah, yes, I think we just hit the uh, limit on the sell point, I think. That money's going up a little bit, but not much, so. And yeah, you'll notice the bucket section. I'm not sure how come I made 160000 on this. Uh, I set it up the first time. I'm not sure why I only got 81000 this time. Eighty-one thousand, still eighty-one thousand. So, oh, you know what? I think I had it on fast times. That might be why. Yep. As you can see, everything just filled up there. And you will see it every now and then. I think it'll, you know, dump just a little bit as uh gets more space in there. And what I'll do here, we'll just uh, untip the bucket and let it sit, and we'll come back in a little bit again, and you know, just tip the bucket over and automatically fill the bucket again so I'm pretty happy this is working uh, I was a little bummed uh, when I recorded the last episode oh, crap the one thing I did not anticipate not working didn't work so and eh, watch figures that figures anyway also for the bales um, I got the straw power plant mod installed so hopefully we're gonna stick one of those somewhere and that's how we're gonna handle the bales at least for now so obviously I got my biogas cell point there kind of plugged up at the moment <laughs> so that's not gonna work at least not for the bales anyway and like I said too I'd like to get another bobcat or two maybe that way I can you know, at least move one of these out of the way and I can drive through here easy enough actually I guess I do have this Ford front end loader I accidentally bought two of them I do not know how I bought two of them I still cannot figure that one out I hit the buy button and Thought I had one and went to the store. I had two of them. So, not sure how, what, where, what. I have no idea. 
Anyway, let's uh, see what's going on with these guys. You are filled up. I'm sort of driving out the crops there, buddy, but uh, okay. There's our miserable bale trailer. I'll probably end up selling that thing. I don't see a reason to keep it. So let's see once here. What shall we do? I ain't uh, considered that what we're actually going to do this episode. Ah, uh, are you done plowing? It looks like you are done plowing. Okay. And that, if that's the kick. Ah, crap. Yeah, he's done plowing, it looks like. In case you guys can't see what the problem is, it says zero liters there. So, well that sucks. I guess we're going to have to buy a uh, fuel tanker. I don't think I have a mod for one. I don't think. Actually, maybe I do. I do have, uh, not that. I don't think these are the Fords that come with the fuel on the back. Never used this before. I'm not even sure what. It looks like it holds straw. I'm not sure how you'd get the straw in there, though. Uh, this little truck. I think one of these trucks had a fuel tank for it. Ah, uh, maybe not. We'll just get the uh, in-game one. Doesn't really make a difference to me in that one. Uh, miscellaneous. Uh, mobile fuel. Ooh, at 8,500. Ouch. Okay. I guess we better get it. And get a tractor to haul it with. Or a truck to haul it with, maybe. Yeah, we'll take the truck down there. Why not? And he's going to need fuel, too. Also, I forget if I uh, mentioned this before or not, this uh, truck does have mirrors that actually work, which I think is pretty cool. wonder if this road will get us to the store. I don't think so. I've never actually gone down this road before, really. I recall, I think it dead ends, but... Oh, it's going to get us up to field 15 here. That's what it's going to do. Okay. Well, it's, we'll take a ride out here then, I guess. Why not? I've actually never been out this way on this uh, map, I don't think so. It's like nothing on this field. Cloud. Yeah, that's definitely been plowed there. So the rest of it looks like it's been cultivated. That's kind of weird. Anyway, let's head to the store then. Got one more gear on the truck. We can get it going pretty fast here. And wow, are we burning through the fuel? I don't know if you guys noticed that or not. Uh, from that field there, we were on 40 some liters. Now we're down to 30. Might just need to get another tractor just to get the fuel browser to this truck here. Oh, hit something. That 
figure it's probably an old army truck, so it, you know, drinks fuel like a fish. Holds a lot of fuel too, apparently. Good, it does connect. Oops, don't turn it over on itself. Now, is that, uh, that's the truck, okay. Oh, apparently the hitch on this must be a little too high. There we go. That's the fuel tank. And it's going to take a while to fill. We'll let that sit then. You're still working. Make a mess of it. Right mess of it. Oh, we got the money. I want to look at the uh, bigger cultivator I had in mind. That was the Vaterstad one. Cultivators. Actually, this is mods. I need, uh... Cultivators. Vaterstad. Top down. Preparing the harvested field for the following working steps. Designed to slice up the entire soil surface and mix in harvest trash. Sounds interesting. Might pricey. Uh, it doesn't say how much horsepower, so we'll assume one of our tractors can pull it. Might be a bad assumption, but uh, I don't see why our uh, MB tractor can't pull it. If I can find him. There he is. squeeze through her without messing anything up. I want to try not to knock any of them out of alignment, otherwise I'm going to have to straighten them up and that might be a disaster. Might be a disaster. Would be a disaster, let's put it that way. Nice and cultivated feel. Wow, doesn't that look nice? If our truck is full, all right, he's full. Shows it's not full because we got the, uh, the back of this uh, truck here that needs to be filled up or can be filled up.
There we go. Now we get some fuel on him and go again. He's done though, so we should be able to, uh, to look down the bottom of the field here. Don't think that the side of this field is straight. Oh, maybe it is. Yeah, he's done. Okay, that'll do. That will do. Okay, we'll go park this somewhere. Shut him off, actually. Okay, now we should be able to move this guy. And I'm actually going to take him to the store. Don't quite plan on replacing the tractor yet, but we're going to hopefully replace the plow with something slightly bigger. Emphasis on slightly, because it actually only is slightly bigger. I believe it's a six bottom versus this is a five. Yeah, five. And of course, for the plow we are getting, it says it's five bottom, so that means we are going to have to, uh, or six bottom. And it recommends a 200 horsepower tractor, so we're going to need a bigger tractor. Oh, 10,000. Wow, that uh, was an expensive plow yet. And we're going to purchase a plow. Gonna go for this one right here, the Rabe Work Condor 6. That's pretty cheap, too. Yeah, it says uh, 200 horsepower is recommended. So, oh, it's non reversible, too. I wonder how the uh, hired workers are going to handle that. That'll be interesting. Obviously not a uh, three-point setup design, so... I should say it still hooks up to the three point, but it doesn't, uh, it's got wheels, so it doesn't completely hang off the three point. Yeah, it looks like it's well used. Must be why it's cheap. And of course, we got one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six bottoms. Okay. Now we're not interested in the plow right now, though. We're going to get the cultivator and we're going to clean up the field that our John Deere is making a mess of. So. And at some point, too, hopefully we'll uh, get the uh, bigger fodder side cultivator. I believe it's 8 meters, or somewhere abouts in there. This one's only 5, so... But at 5, it's still considerably bigger than our John Deere. John Deere's cultivator. But yeah, really the only reason I bought that one, that one comes with a planter, which we'll eventually probably buy for it. Okay, so we're going to want X to unfold. I'm really not even sure what the point of you know, folding something this small up is for, but uh, whatever. Seems like it's uh, folded up uh, is about the same as it's unfolded with, so... Okay.
and yet you fo you will probably see me uh, cycling through a lot of equipment here this uh, season. Got a lot of small equipment I'd like to try out, play around with, you know, see what's what it does. So some of the purchases I make might not make sense. I'm just going to buy them because hey, I want to try them out. So same thing with the uh, like smaller cultivator there. Give it a try. Plus it has a planner, so I would like to try that out as well. So. Outside. I'm pretty sure I've gone over that now and it has not done it. Yes, indeed. It cannot uh, be cultivated there. Interesting. That might explain why it hasn't been plowed there either. Spot cannot be either. Interesting. Okay. Now here's a trivia question for you folks. How do you go about fixing that? I happen to have a few ideas. Oh, this guy's... Uh, no, he stopped. Is he... Uh, he's not done. Get back to work, huh? So you're paying you for nothing. Let's see what's here. Where was he working from, I wonder? I have no idea. I'm turn around here. This spot right here looks as good as any to start. It's not going to go very far, though. He doesn't have that much uh, space left, so... Yeah. Okay, whatever. Wonder. I need a 200 horsepower tractor. I've got one in mind. Oh, by the way, I picked up a bunch of uh, case tractors, magnums. Oh, what do we all got? Yeah, 340, there's a 315, 290, a 370 CVT. Huh. Yeah, someone suggested this. Uh, it's like a pack of case tractors to me. Looks like some pretty nice tractors, so. Might be a little big for this uh, farm. I don't know, we'll see what's if we get to them or not, but. Uh, let's see what's here. Just out of curiosity. Can't really afford that, but how much? Uh, 260 PS. Uh, I'm not sure how that equates to horsepower. That's the one we got right now, and we're looking at 112. That's something I want to do, too. Let's, uh, over here, I think about it. I want to buy, I think it's those tires. We'll put those on it, and I mean, it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks weird. I'll leave it at that. Uh, not that one, not that one. Yes, the 4955. That's somewhere about on the 200 horsepower range. I forget exactly what horsepower, but it's just under. So, there's one more. Oh, that's only 165 horsepower. Okay. Looks like a bigger tractor, but I guess that's not that much horsepower. So, we're going to go with the 4955 for now, then. And are my flotation wire tires around or something? They are. Uh, symbol, comma. <laughs> yeah, this, uh... Actually, I think, can we get duels on this one, too? I forget. Yeah, I 
twin wheels. Now, let's buy those two. I think I gotta have the other tires on, then I can put these on, so then I can actually get duels. I don't think they'll go on with the uh, flotation tires on there that I recall. But still, I'll say that's a kind of a weird looking tractor. Anyway, that's not really what I'm here for. We'll let that sit for the moment. Come back and play with that later, maybe. Okay, I might need to do a little work on the starter on this one, maybe. On the engine. model sounds like it needs some help. Okay, we should be able to put dual tires, if I recall. Let's see, we got five and six. I wonder what that does. That's lights, rear lights. Yep. And nine. Ah, dual tires on the rear. That doesn't look too bad. Sounds like I need some help on the engine, that's for sure. bad of a looking tractor. You know, it looks like it's a little bit rough, been used. I think the John Deere uh, stripe's been stripped off there. Yep, both sides. Okay, where's our problem spots here? And we're going to allow it to create field. And then we're going to lower it. And B to turn plow. I thought this said this plow could turn. Okay, and there's a spot there as well. We'll hit that. The green on this track looks like it's a little bit off. Not too bad, but it's a little pale. Oh, apparently we got plows back on it too. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can uh, cultivate the uh, fending areas now. Left him running. A long cultivator. Ah, yes, perfect. Looks like I might have missed a little spot there. Let's see if we can go back and get that yet. And I've got to figure out what we want to plan on this field. Probably, I'm thinking maybe some wheat or barley or something. Okay, let's grab the plow here a minute and uh, fix up that one spot. That we'll probably call it an episode two. Before we do that, we'll go check and see what's been selling more up. Biogas plant. I think it's really not a biogas plant. It's actually kind of part of our farm here, so I'm not quite sure. I always call it a biogas plant, but. Okay, that should. 
should do it, I believe. And then we're going to limit it back to the uh, field. Self have that tractor taken in for engine work. Actually, it doesn't sound like a uh, 4955 engine at all to me. It sounds like a smaller tractor. Okay, I think we got it all. And yep, folks, that's how you fix a spot in the field that will not uh, cultivate or plow normally. Oh, I must have missed just a little bit there. Ah, well. That's fine. I'm going to worry about a little spot like that. Just get yourself a plow, turn it on the uh, create field mode, and give it some plow and work, and it should uh, fix itself up. So, let's head over here. See if our Ford will dump any more crap in. Probably not a lot, because we haven't been, uh... And I was just filling up the bucket again, so... Okay, folks, we'll, uh, call it an episode here. We got our, uh, automated silage line of, uh biogas selling, I don't know what you want to call this uh, conveyor belt madness going so yeah, if you folks have any comments or questions uh, be sure to leave them below and as always, thanks for watching until next time